Good morning and welcome back to Market Master Roland Attenborough. Today we are going to be discussing Bitcoin and the longitude of prices on a few different rings on our tool, the Natural Square Scientific Forecasting Instrument. But right now we're going to just take a look at the low sloping line that has come back from a low and we've coupled it together and we have two data points and I now have a third data point. Right now, prices are stabilizing here at the 100 to 99 and 102 level. Any closes underneath this yellow line, and particularly a close under the 102, is signaling a lot more weakness, or weakness to continue along this line before we get a major kick up. The MACD bars here is showing that the selling pressure has reached about its maximum and we're getting ready for a change and a crossover. The volume today is very high, although at the end of the day it should subside down a little bit lower. It always seems to be a little higher than it is, but this is in real time. So by the end of the day, we should be somewhere back in and around this area. So the pressure is declining here. Again, looking at this stochastic here, it's coiled right down and is at a low and is getting ready to make a move up for the next three, maybe five to six sessions here. Once we confirm this bottom and get these crossovers on these two lines, the RSI has dived down. It is at its very lowest point right now and it's getting ready now to signal a move up. Let's go ahead and take a look at our square. Here we go, we're looking at the square. I've set up all the bodies all the way around the circle on our, on our square. This is our natural square scientific forecasting instrument. I designed this instrument so that I could back test all the work of my guide, William Gann. I own all his books and courses and I am the leading Gann scientific and analytical researcher. Let's get ready. Now we're gonna talk about the longitude of price. So we're going to talk about a few different uh, ways to find the price. Let's go ahead. Now that I've put all the bodies on, let's go take a look at the book. Here's our booklet. I've noted the first ring. Whenever you're doing your calculations, the first ring is 0 to 36 which equals 0 to 360. This is what I'm talking about here. 0 all the way around. Sorry, I got the shadow in there. 350 to 360 and then you start back over. So 0 to 36. Then the second ring is 36 to 72. Then the next ring is 72 to 108. And then the next one is 108 to 144 and then it just continues like that. Today Today we are looking at the first ring here. So I wrote down all the places where these luminary bodies sit. So we've added them up to get 200 or 2,693. And then I divided it by 12 to get 224. And then since we are much higher in the... Um, in the price ring here, I divided it by 2 to get 112, which was a uh, much closer. Also note that 224, or mean of 12, equals exactly where the sun is. Take note of that. On the cycle of 8, it added up to 1513, which is 189. When I divided that by 2, it was 94. Taking a look further now, at the mean of 5, it added up to 983. I divided that by the 5 to make 196, still too high in our longitude. Divided it by 2, 98.3. Today, this is the pricing. It opened at 103 on this day. Our high was 103 with our open. The low is 99. And Right now it's fluctuating around the 100 level. 
hasn't closed yet. So on this one now, we're going to the third ring. I've color coordinated this so that you can follow along. Here we go. Sorry, I didn't mean to move that. So we're talking about this ephemeris, right? So I've taken the seventh, right? And I've taken all these luminary bodies and I've put them all as William Gann has taught me to do. So, working on the third ring between 72 and 108. Between 72 and 108. We've defined where all the bodies are and the price level within that. So let's take a look at that. Add it up. The entirety of this is 1057. We divided this by our 12 and we ended up with 88. It's a little bit lower on our on our longitude, but still not too far off, meaning that the prices are still in the lowering level. Okay, here we are on our mean of eight. I've added up these with 690, I divided it by eight and 86.25. Next, we did the mean of five. These guys here, right? Added them up, 458, divided it by our five, ended up with 91.6. So you can see how powerful the work is when we just take the mathematics of the circle and we add our luminary bodies. We can zero in on price levels. So again, just going back, we went to the first ring. So your first ring stuff is zero to 36. And then you can just add a zero to keep the rest of the circle from zero to 360, which it is. And again, the next ring, right, 36 to 72, all we do is just add the zero on in case it, the asset is vibrating higher. So 360 and 720. Next on the third ring is 72 and 108. So we just add the zero to the end, 720, 1080. Again, fourth ring starts at 108 to 144. Then we just add a zero on there in case the numbers get too high or let's just say that the asset is vibrating at a higher level. Or say if it's like XRP and it's vibrating, you know, underneath, you know, or say just say two dollars and fifty cents, well, we can find it inside the circle by finding where it is, right? Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed that. And uh, please message me if you'd like more instruction on this. I also have uh, an open forum right now for anyone that wishes to ask me any questions right now. You can ask me up to 10 questions. Email me your questions. And for $250, I will answer all your questions as quickly as possible and send you a determination that's logical and sensible that you can make uh, some kind of decision based on your knowledge and I want to increase your knowledge so all my shout out and all my thanks go to William Gann he's my teacher he's my instructor and everything I do is being channeled through me through the Lord so please go uh, check out William's work this is what I do. This is my life. I've dedicated myself to the research of esoteric knowledge. Also, don't forget to go hit, hit up my, uh, my other brother, Dexter. He's got a TikTok channel, and I believe it's non-elite, N-O-N, elite. So go check him out. Please don't harass him, but just thank him for the work that he's doing. He studies the law of vibration, and he is constantly killing it in the market. So, anyways, big shout out to all of you. Peace and love. Hit me up. Email me your questions, and I will respond to you quickly. Amen.